people do. I could do what you do. Believe me. Niggas give me heebie jeebies. Y'all, if y'all see these puff balls in another video that's coming up, it's because this is my second time recording today. I'm kind of out of place because I, I usually record once a day, but this is gonna be my second time. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be speaking about, I'm going to be speaking about Black Pete, which is Zwat Pete. I think that's what it means, Black Pete. I don't know. It's a book character in, um, in Dutch. The Netherlands? Yeah, it's a book character in the Netherlands and he's something like Santa's helper. So I'm going to be talking about that whole thing and then how it ties to racism and um, different things like, you know, racism to this day, like to this day, like they're doing blackface. So yeah, if y'all want to see that, just keep on watching. But before we get into this video, you guys, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Royal Club and um, hit the bell notification button as well to be notified for, for all my future videos. And um, give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video or enjoy these types of videos. And let's just get into this video. I wanted to actually, I'm doing my brows first, which is crazy, I never do my brows on camera, but hey. Y'all, these kind of videos never go up with my upload schedule. I literally just upload them whenever. So, this whole thing started when Kim Kardashian tweeted this. So. After that, it pretty much blew up. Like, her tweet pretty much blew up. Um, of course, anything that she tweets blows up, usually. But this one really did because it involved the Dutch. Now, this isn't the Dutch's first go around with the whole Black Pete thing and it relating to racism. People are still boycotting it um, and, you know, protesting Black Pete and different stuff like they've been doing it for a long time. I remember the first time I heard about this, it was a couple years back and I was just amazed that people were like, you know, painted their face black, like, you know, blackface and they didn't give one, not three fucks about it. And they didn't care, you know, <laughs> about it really. So, a lot of people are saying, you know, the Dutch are racist and different things like that. I don't know what the... Shoot. Okay, so I just got done with my brows. Let's move on to talking about this. So I read the... Let me turn on my brightness on my phone. Okay. So I read the article, and I'm just applying primer. I read the article... And, you know, they've been doing it for years, even after, like, the boycott it started, like, you know, it started and whatnot. You would think that, as human beings, if people are boycotting something, doesn't that mean it's, it's not good or it's bad in any type of way? And it's just the fact that they're just being really ignorant, because they know like you know how it they know how it could be blackface but then they're just not caring and that's what that is really oh my what the fuck is that so they're pretty much just not caring um and that's why you know i'm really saying that they're, they're being really ignorant so ooh, this smells so good it feels so good so Back to them not being, like, you know, just being ignorant. They're just not really caring about, about the issue or trying to find the problem. And, like, 
they're arguing with other black people. Like I said, like in the last video, if black people are saying something about a girl, you know it's a problem. Okay, and the whole Black Pete thing. Black Pete is, let's just do a little history on Black Pete. So, hold on. So, it is, Black Pete is a, is a book character. And basically what he, like, is covered in, why his skin is black, is because it's soot. And people feel like, ugh, white people, Dutch people, feel like because, you know, um, it's soot and it's not his skin color, it's not, like, you know, racism pretty much. But look at his hair. Like, his hair is curly and black, okay? The lips are pink. Like, who, like, what the heck? First of all, they're overdrawn big and pink. Let me say that. It's not just pink. They're big and pink. Like, you know, like a black person's characteristics. Um, and then the hair. You know, the hair is curly as well. Those are usually black people's char characteristics or people of African descent. And that also go ties into, you know, how we have been, made, been being made fun of for years. And even America's, um, we have history of, not we, but white Americans have history of creating cartoon characters, you know, with our, you know, characteristics to type of make fun of us. And, you know, play, I'm playing some clips here as well throughout this video so y'all can actually see what I'm talking about. So Black Pete pretty much is Santa Claus' slave. <laughs> like he carries the, you know, the um, the presents and everything for Santa Claus, and he cleans Santa Claus' clothes. Like he does all that for Santa Claus, and he's basically his slave. So <laughs> how don't y'all see that something is wrong there? It's just crazy that they don't see that it's been going on for centuries not even just decades centuries all that like and I feel like thank God for you know thank God for social media these days and that's how we can see this kind of stuff and also try to stop it because I feel like if you know if social media wasn't here we would not even know about that we would not even know that they were doing um you know painting their face black but like think of the black people that have visited you know the Netherlands around that time like you know Pat you know them those past years um, in the past, before social media was created, before the internet was created, think of those black people, black families that used to visit the Never Netherlands and see the, those white people painting their face black, like around this time. Because this is the holiday season when people are going on trips and different things like that. So just think about that and think about how they feel or how they felt when they saw 
that kind of stuff. Or even to this day, like, you know, it's people, it's families still out there that still travel and they don't know about this. Black families that still travel and they don't know about this. They don't know about uh, them doing this kind of, like, you know, this type of stuff. And once they get to the Netherlands, Netherlands, they're just like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell? Like, that is crazy. That's why I really, really say, you know, thank God for social media these days because we would not even know. We would know most of this stuff was going on. And they're keep saying, their main argument, let me tell y'all, the Dutch's main argument is that it's tradition. Okay? It's tradition, blah, blah, blah. It's been going on for years, blah, blah. blah. Okay, slavery, slavery has been going on for over, over four or five hundred years. And it's still going on to this day. In the, um, you know, in the prison system. So, whoop. So, for y'all, for the ones that's arguing that, like, you know, like, it's tradition, so it should stay pretty much, your argument is invalid. It really is. Slavery was, tra um, was tradition. Um, it was a lot of stuff that was tradition. And just because something is tradition doesn't mean that something cannot be like you know stopped or changed and that doesn't mean anything like you know uh like i swear and then they're not even trying to listen that's the thing like the dutch are not trying to listen they're not like they just don't give three fucks and it's just really crazy <laughs> Oh, that's light. The fact is that people are arguing up under these comments, basically saying, you know, them doing blackface is not racist. When it's definitely racist, is it definitely is racist. So now I'm going to read a tweet by Mrs. Erica. Wait. El Elvira? I don't know, it says Elvira. I'm probably butchering her name, but. Sh she says, I am really trying to understand the meaning behind it and this Dutch culture. But do, by the way, this is a black woman. But do the chimneys also make him suddenly have pink, have the lips you guys draw draw as a part of the costume pink and exaggerated to look bigger like how white people have mocked black lips for ages it's racist period a person i'm guessing this is a dutch person i'm clicking on her profile yes she's she's a dutch person I think Americans should start by looking at themselves before looking at a country that's way smaller smaller than they are. In America, in America have racial issues when it comes to a relationship. In Holland, we don't. And now all of a sudden, we have racist traditions. Now, no, we don't. The black girl also responded back. She said, I'm a Cameroonian born and raised central africa that's where it is now living in germany i am not an american so don't i don't speak based on their race, racial issues you have you are in denial i've been to holland at least five times it's an hour by car from my city i have experienced open racism there Period. Didn't I just say that? Didn't I just say that, like, the people that even visit? I just said that. Like, what the hell? Like, she visited and she experienced racial problems. Like, crazy. So, my whole point that I was saying is, period. Like, it's through. Like, I just, I basically just... My point was made, pretty much. My point definitely was just made. Thank you, Elvira, or however you pronounce your name. 
Cause you just you just made me Was this a new one? I don't know. You just like I just my point was made. Period. <laughs> like you been there and you experienced racism. I just said that. What I was like, what happens to the people that even just cause if they're doing that, like of course there are other racist aspects there as well. Like what the hell? I just said that. <laughs> like, it is crazy. Someone said to her comment said, so because you've been to the Netherlands five times mean that the Netherlands as a whole discriminates? Someone says, been here my whole life and I can confirm the racism. <laughs> and usually this topic goes away, but it comes right back around this time. I thought that was a pimple. So, all these, like, you know, comments and everything like that, like, it only came back because Kim reposted it again. But there are new articles. Art articles. Wow. Articles about this situation. It's been going on for centuries, you guys. Centuries, decades, all that stuff. And... Just because no one spoke about it until now, or until these last couple of years, does not mean it's not racist. You know, it's, um, you know, does not mean that it's not racist. They're like, oh, you guys are so sensitive, blah, blah, blah. It's just Black Pete or Zox Pete or whatever the fuck they pronounce. I don't know their language. So, yeah, and I'm just like, girl, it literally translates to Black Pete. Girl, calm down. Not calm down, but, you know, get over yourself. And it is... Oh, shoot. It is racist. Like, it really is. And the people that are saying that, it's not. Like, you know, people have experienced this. Like, just people that I just... <laughs> I just read their tweets just right then and there, have experienced racism in in the Netherlands. So, and I could, I could like, oh shoot, I could see that. I could see people experience race, experiencing racism in the Netherlands. Like, I really can. It's just how things are. In the Netherlands, I don't really think there's that many black people, honestly, to be honest. I've never been there. Yo, I'm just talking the side of, out the side of my neck. Like, I've never been there, so. But, and a lot of people are taking up for this, mostly because, you know, it's their country, and they're just like, we're not the United States, blah, blah, blah. We don't have these problems over here. Shut up. You do. There's racism everywhere. So don't just act like Holland is um, perfect. And there's, like, you know, a lot of racism everywhere. For black people, like, you know, cause we're, we just naturally stand out. Like, cause we're naturally the shit, okay? So, we just naturally stand out. Cause first of all, our skin color, our crowns on our head, our hair, and we just naturally stand out wherever we are. So, of course, people are going to be jealous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> of course, people are going to be you know, up in arms because for years people have, it's been a tradition that people with deeper skin is inferior to people with lighter skin. And, you know, but it's the fucking, like, it's the truth. That has been going, like, that has been a tradition for years. And just because it's tradition does not mean that it's right. Um, just like slavery, just like racism to this day, like, it's not right just because it's tradition, it's been going on for years. I have to put on a little blush. So yeah, y'all, just because it's tradition does not mean it's right, it's been going on for years, it needs to stop, like, you guys really need to cut it out and stop trying to defend this racism that's going on in your country. Um, you know, people of Holland, 
Oh, there we go. My nose is back. Um, you know, people of Holland, just because it's been going on for years and years and years does not mean it's right. End it and right, like, let's try to, let's try to end this, that tradition, that terrible tradition. Let's... So in conclusion with this video, do I feel like um, the Dutch should stop their tradition and just eliminate using black peat altogether? No. Do I feel like they need to cut out the black face in it and also stop interpreting black peats in that sort of manner? Like, you know, I think, I think, what is in, in like a buckwheat? I think that's the name of him of um, an old racist cartoon from back in the the 20s or the 30s. Um, yeah, so do I feel like you got like they should stop doing the buckwheat tradition? Let me look it up. Let me make sure I'm saying his name right. Oh, Jigaboo. Jigaboo. I'm sorry. I kept, I was saying, well, buckwheat. Yeah, I was saying buckwheat. Jigaboo. Um, we need to stop that. Um, that's the correct term for it, Jigaboo. Y'all do not attack me in the comments. So, um, yeah, we need to stop that. We need to work on that. It's like, that was like a discussion, but you guys like, just felt like we are attacking your tradi tradition, but we aren't. We're just informing you guys, like, you know, the images that you guys are using and you guys are portraying as, is racist. Like, girl, cut it out, okay? Cut it out. So, yeah, y'all. Y'all, I really beat my face, like, and this was pretty fast. I did my face pretty, pretty fast, minus my fucking eyebrows. Um, so, yeah, y'all, if you guys enjoyed this video, then give this video a big thumbs up, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button right before you leave. With that being said, y'all, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.